Hi there, this is Namneet and welcome to my channel Namneet Technical and coming to this video we are going to see how to make this IPL carousel. Actually the reason behind choosing this carousel is if you observe here both the next and previous buttons are on the top right corner right but whereas in our carousel the previous button is on the left side and the next button is on the right side right and still now we are using the predefined CSS class names of the React Slick package in order to style these buttons, right? That is in order to change the background or in order to position these buttons or any styles regarding regarding these buttons, we are using the predefined class names. But by doing this way, we may face some problems because some styles are already given by the package, right? To that uh, specific class names. Some styles are already given by the package and when we are giving our styles, our styles may become contradictory to them and we may face some issues due to that right so in order to get rid of this problem what we'll do is any carousel any carousel any carousel you take we make these buttons right these buttons with the help of just normal html css and place wherever we want okay whether it is on the top right corner on the bottom left wherever you want okay so we'll do that is regarding the buttons the ui of the buttons the position of the buttons will do just with the help of normal HTML CSS and then the functionality that is uh, whenever we click on the previous button the slide should move on the right side and whenever we click on the next button the slide should move on the left side so this functionality this click functionality will take it from the react slick package okay nothing complex guys just uh, the UA of the buttons will do with just normal HTML CSS the functionality of these buttons will take it from the react slick package that's it okay so without any delay let's start back to our code editor so just expand your source folder now what i'll do is i'll just create a new file okay so just click on this and i'll just name it as ipl.js so make sure you give any relevant name okay and then click enter now it will create a new file for us now just type in rafce which we already know right so I'm just waiting for the suggestion. Now just select this and then click enter. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll just take a H1 and I'll just type in IPL. Okay. Now just press Ctrl S save. Now let us use this component in our app.js. Right. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this name IPL and just press Ctrl P and just type in app. So which will take us to the app component. Right. So now let us uh, use that component and in order to import it we already know it just press control space bar and which will show a couple of suggestions so make sure you select the right one and uh, click on that which will automatically import that component for us right so now as we are not using this component so what i'll do is i'll just uh, comment these import statements okay now just press control is save now we should be able to see this h1 somewhere in our browser right See, now we are able to see this IPL. That means our component is working perfectly fine, right? So now let us look at the slider actually. So if you look at this slider, what do we have actually? So first we have something match highlights and the buttons. And then we have this uh, slider, right? That is uh, which is in our case will be the slider component, right? So these card sort of things. And then we have uh, something like this pagination sort of thing, right? So what we'll do is we'll just take a two okay for now uh, for now leave about this pagination sort of thing okay so for now leave about this pagination so let's concentrate on this two okay so first what we'll do is we'll just take a two main div containers one for this okay one for this the highlights a uh, match highlights heading and these buttons so this will this total will come under that particular div and in the second div in which our slider component sits in in which we'll be able to see all these card components okay so let's see actually how to do that so back to our code so i'll just comment this so as we uh, as we discussed what i'll do is i'll just take a uh, two div containers uh now we have we should we have that match highlight setting right see if you are able to see this uh, match highlights i'll just uh, copy this and then uh, we have that uh, two buttons right so for that buttons i'll just take a separate div container and in that we'll have a uh, two more div containers uh, for the two buttons right 
observe so over here see we have some uh, some background sort of thing and inside that we have this icon right so that is the reason why we are taking a separate uh, div container for the two buttons okay in this uh, we have that uh, something like a previous button and inside this uh, we have like next button right okay now our first div is uh, first div is finished right so we completed the setting and we okay we are not going to to this button now we have this is our uh, card card components right so uh, let us import our slider okay so in this our slider sits in right so what we'll do is uh, we'll just copy the code uh, let's go to multi carousel.js and uh, first of all let's copy all these import statements so let's copy over here and uh, let us uh, copy this uh, icons as well okay now let us use that slider component over here right so just type in slider and press tab so in this what i'll do is uh, i'll just uh, create an empty array of uh, 10 elements and i'll fill that with uh, empty strings and i'll map that i'll just return an just an image okay i'll just write an image whose source will be so let us take this so just right click on that and you can just say copy image address and just paste it over here right so oh, let me surround it with a div tag okay now just press ctrl is save see now we are able to see that match highlights this preview next and uh, this image as well right but what is happening actually why it is uh, one under the other the reason is uh, this div tag should be here but not there see now that now that problem is gone right okay but now we are getting uh, now we are again getting this uh, horizontal scroll bar right we already know the reason right we already know the reason we figured it out and you know that right how to how to figure that out okay so just uh, come over to this uh, container in which our slider component sits in and just uh, give a style of uh, margin 30 pixel now just press ctrl s save now it should be now it should be everything should be fine see now uh, that horizontal scroll bar has gone right but why we are able to see only one image right so whereas uh, you know we have filled with uh, our array with the uh, 10 elements right but we are only able to see uh, one image right so the reason is uh, we are not passing any slides to show proper to our uh, slider component right so by default it will be one right so that is the reason why we are able to see only uh, one image even though our array has 10 elements so here we have something like uh, four images right so what i'll do is i'll just say slides to show as a four i'll set it to four then we should be able to see uh, four images in our slider see now we are able to see four images in our slider right okay now now uh, let us give some margin styly style i'll just take a style attribute and a set margin to let us say a 10 pixel see how it is looking okay that is not sufficient let's go with the 20 pixel or let's style our image okay so what i'll do is i'll just say width of uh, let's try with the 150 and uh, so don't forget to give this object fit container which preserves the aspect ratio of the image okay uh, actually it became uh, really less 150 so, so
so let's say let's go with 350 okay it's becoming more let's go with 320 okay see now we are able to see that a uh, space in between these images right and uh, we also have something like uh, rounded corners right so uh, let's say border radius of uh, 10 pixel okay now it is looking good right okay now our carousel is ready right so our slider is ready but uh, now how to slide now how to slide through these uh, slider right we don't have any buttons and we are not gonna use uh, any predefined buttons right like in our uh, previous videos uh, we used a preview icon and then next icon and uh, we used uh, material icons for that and then we are using our buttons right so uh, make sure you watch the previous videos if you didn't watch that okay so now how we are gonna do that over here so for that we'll use we'll make use of this preview and next okay so if you observe over here here we have a heading and in the top right corner we have these buttons right so we are now we are gonna make a button something like look like this and then we'll add the functionality to these buttons okay so now let's do that okay now in our case uh, here match highlights and uh, these are uh, one down the other right but uh, here we have uh, like they those are in one line right and those are the uh, those are pushed to the corners right this, that is this match highlights is on the left side and buttons are on the right side right so for that uh, what i'll do is so okay uh, where is our button container okay it's over here right so i'll just take a style attribute what i'll do is i'll just say i'm sorry I'll just take a style attribute and I'll display of uh, flex okay now look just press ctrl is save see now these are uh, we got them in the one line right but we want to push them to the corners right so for that what I'll do is I'll just say justify content of uh, space between okay space between now just press ctrl s save see now these are pushed to the corners right but they are really sticking to the corners right so what i'll do is i'll just uh, give some padding so a uh, top uh, we only want like a left and right padding we don't want top and bottom right so top and bottom zero and a left and right of a uh, 10 pixel see now, now now they are not sticking to the corners right okay now let's concentrate on these buttons okay so instead of this brave we want something we want something like this right okay uh, where are those buttons actually okay instead of buttons we got scroll bar okay let me maximize this see now if you look at this uh, we have something like a white background and in that uh, we have this uh, icon right so we already have icons right so arrow back i was so let me copy this over here and uh, we have uh, arrow forward which is our next icon so i'll just copy over here now just press ctrl s save see now our icons are in place right but but uh, let's style them okay let's give some styles i'll just uh, remove this class name so uh you actually what we'll do is uh, just give some class name and uh, okay make a new css file that is ipl.css and uh, make you write styles in that okay I'm just taking inline styles for now, but uh, make sure you do that because we are duplicating styles by by taking uh, inline styling. Okay, so what I'll do is first of all uh, we have uh, we want to give some width and fixed width and height for this. So I'll just say fifth uh, width of uh, forty pixel and height of forty. now 
let's see how it is looking actually okay now uh, those buttons should be in line for that what I'll do is uh, I'll just take a style attribute and I'll just say display flex so just press ctrl s save okay now it is looking good right so now let's uh, give some border to these buttons actually in order to figure out uh, the difference between the uh, two buttons so what I'll do is I'll just say border of uh, one pixel solid by default uh, it will take black color so that's why I'm not mentioning any color okay see now these are uh, the buttons right now if you observe carefully our icons are not centered in this container right so what we'll do is uh, just come over to the same div again so we know that right how to center anything perfectly what do you have to do display flex align item center and uh, justify content center so with the help of these three lines uh, everything will be perfectly centered right see now the, uh, the buttons are perfectly perfectly centered right okay now what do we have so uh, we have some sort of box shadow around this and uh, we have a slight gap in between them right so let's do that okay but whereas in our case these two buttons are uh, sticking to each other right so what i'll do is i'll just come over to this uh, first button and uh, say margin right of uh, let's go with 10 and uh, we want some border radius also to both of these buttons right so let's say border radius right border radius so let's go with the 7 pixel and i'll just copy this paste over here and uh, as i said uh, we also have some sort of uh, box shadow so if you wonder how i'm getting two cursors uh, so just uh, uh, press in alt button and uh, place wherever the cursor you want okay so now box shadow so i just uh, I just copied that box shadow actually so this is the box shadow so now just press ctrl s save okay see now now our buttons are looking something good right okay now one more thing I just want to add is a cursor pointer so that whenever we point on that uh, something it will show something like finger see now now uh, we we are able to see only this cursor right so what i'll do is i'll just say cursor pointer so what will happen is uh, whenever you hover on that uh, we'll be able to see that finger sort of thing right which will give us uh, something like uh, some feeling hover feeling okay okay now let's remove the borders we don't want these borders anymore and uh, this became a slightly more actually let's go with 7 okay okay why still we are able to see these borders okay actually we removed something wrong property I'm sorry I removed a border radius property so but we have to remove this border property I'm sorry for that guys so now just press ctrl is save okay now our buttons are in place and we are able to we are able to see, also able to see that box shadow sort of thing right okay okay now our ui part is done right that is uh, now we have the, our buttons in our place and now we also have the slider in our place right so <coughs> now how to add how to get the functionality of these buttons from our react slick so that is the actual question so let's see actually how to do that okay so back to our code editor so we know that this slider this slider component has all the properties with it so that is the reason why we are able to uh, 
we are able to use them in our previous uh, carousel right so if you observe in the multi item carousel so that is the reason why we are able to pass all this pre icon next icon and then we are able to do that right so that means we know that this slider component has a lot of functionality with it now how to actually how to target this slider and how to get that properties to us so that we can make use of that properties so how to get that actually so whenever you want to target any particular div or any particular component will uh, will make use of uh, refs for that right so now let's uh, make use of those refs and uh, let's target this particular slider component and let's see actually what does it have with it okay so uh, we are not going to discuss much about refs over here in this video so if you want to know more about refs in detail and the use cases of it so you can just uh, visit uh, react j 0 to hero on instagram or i'll just link it in the description so you can just visit that and uh, not only about users but you can learn react from zero to hero okay so make sure you check out that i'll link it in the description okay so now uh, let's uh, make use of this user ref so i'll just uh, give initial value as null and now let's import this uh, user ref so just press control space bar so it is uh, imported from the react now okay uh, this uh, let us give it as a slider ref so this is just a variable okay you can give a, your wish so now we have this a uh, slider ref okay now we have to pass this uh, we have to pass this to the one which you want to target okay so now we want to target this uh, slider in our case so we have to we have a special ref attribute and we have to pass our value to this particular ref attribute okay so simple guys so uh, just decide what you want to target the first thing now you know what you want to target okay now how to how to get that properties how to get the properties which you targeted with just with the help of refs so what you'll do is just create a ref variable with the help of use ref hook now we created a slider ref variable now pass this slider ref to the one you want to target refs attribute okay so just give a ref attribute so this is a ref attribute this is a special ref attribute you can give this to any one like you can give this to this uh, div as well you can give this to this map image as well so to anything okay so but we are interested in this slider component so that is the reason why i am giving this ref uh, attribute to this slider component and pass the value pass the variable which you created over here right so now we done okay now we got that okay now we targeted our uh, slider component but how to see actually what does this contain okay so in order to do that uh, let me console log it actually slider ref so slider ref okay so now just press control s save now uh, back to our browser so i'll just open my dev tools so just by clicking control shift i okay see now here ipl js 9 this is the one which we log right so ipl dot js and in the line we are getting an object see we are getting an object with a property a current as null right so for now we have this current property as null right so what do we, what we'll do is uh, will uh, target that current and uh, will see actually what is in that particular for now it is null right see for now it is null but let's see actually what will happen now okay just press control s save see now we are getting now we are getting this a slider right okay when uh, when we log for the first time uh, we are getting null but this is the slider which we want right so these are all the like the functionality of the slider lies in okay see now we are able to get uh, all the comp uh, like uh, all the functionality of the slider see it it has something like context inner slider props refs like go to next some functions and everything right so this is what we wanted right now how can we make use of these to uh complete our functionality so actually what does we want we want to make these buttons functional 
that means we want the click functionality to this that is we want to pass some functions to this whenever we click on previous button on click we want to pass some function and for this next button on click we want to pass some function so we already have those functions over here right slick go to slick next slick pass slick play see by the name itself we can say right slick next that means it will go to the next slide so slick preview that means it will go to the it will take us to the previous slide so these are the functions we want that's pretty much it guys so just by passing this uh, uh, two functions slick next and uh, slick preview uh, by passing these functions to the click functionality that is the on click uh, of these two buttons our work is done really simple right so uh, we'll uh, we'll see actually how what is slick go to what is slick uh, what is slick pass okay in our uh, next upcoming videos but for now we want only these two functionality right so the next functionality and the previous functionality so that is the reason why we are using only these two functions so i'll just close that okay now what we what we should do we should pass the on click functionality right we should pass this function to the click functionality of our buttons so i'm sorry it's on click c-l-i-c-k on click and uh, we don't have the we we don't have that function directly right see we are logging slider ref dot current and then we are getting that slider right okay and then we are getting this slider that means how to target this particular function or any of this slider ref dot current dot dot this property right so this is also an object right this slider is also an object so slider ref dot current dot the property which which we want to access uh, so i'll just copy this slider dot current slider ref dot current dot uh, the property we want what property we want we want this link next okay as this is the previous button uh, we want to target slick preview and i'll just and uh, okay don't forget to invoke the function okay it's a function right now here also we want uh, slick next instead of slick preview that's pretty much it now just press controls control s save once uh, refresh your browser see guys did you see that now we are able to slide through our slider with the help of our custom buttons isn't it okay but we are able to slide through only one right so what i'll do is i'll just say slides to scroll i'll just say it as three or let's say four see and i just want to show one thing okay so as i said we are not going to talk much about refs in this video now if you once if you refresh if you refresh it see again we are getting this null okay this so if you want to know the reason behind it or just study more about refs but for now uh, i just want to uh, get rid of that null so instead of logging outside you can just log it in the use effect okay so now just press control s save now if you refresh your browser you will not see that null but instead we will get the property okay so that is the reason why whenever the for the first time we logged it we got the current property as null and whenever for the second time when we logged it we got that okay so if you want to uh, get the 
a log for the first time itself so just okay make use of use effect why you are using use effect you can you can get it on that instagram account or you can just uh, uh, study more about uh, use ref okay so see now we are able to get that current slider okay i just want to show right so that's it for this video guys so, so we saw how to how can we make our own custom buttons and add the functionality to that buttons uh, which we took from the react slick package okay so if you find any kind of value from this video do share with your friends and do subscribe for further updates thanks for watching guys